Hello there, my good friends of the USBGF Facebook page and the USBGF organization. This is Phil Simborg, the Ask the Pro Pro from the USBGF, with your tip of the day. Here's the tip of the day. Blue has opened with a 6-3, and you have a 4-1. What should you do? Well, it's pretty obvious that you hit. The real question is, what do you do with the 4? You really have two logical choices. You're certainly not going to play it inside. You can come up, you can come down. Well, the truth is, both plays are pretty close. But there's a general rule of thumb that will help you in these kinds of situations. If you're hitting with the 1, notice you only have two checkers left on the 8 point. If blue comes in and hits you back, if you make this play, you can hit blue back with if he comes in and hits you back, you can hit him back with a 6 or a 1. You're not real happy if you hit him back with this 1, because you've given up your 8 point, and you're leaving two blots in the outfield. <clears throat> so instead, if you come down with the 4 after hitting with the 1, if you get hit back, now you can hit him back with 6s and 2s, and you stand a much better chance of keeping this point. Now what if blue doesn't hit you back? What if you just <clears throat> hit him and say he just comes in, doesn't hit you back. Now you can cover with a 2 or a 6. And again, you're less likely to be forced to cover with the 1. If you cover with the 1, you're going to be leaving a blot on your 8 point, and you give up the 8 point. So it's a very simple rule of thumb. Except in unusual cases, if your opponent is out here and you hit with the 1, Play the other checker down, whether it's a 4, or a 2, or a 5, play it down. And what if, about if you hit with a 6? By the way, the other advantage of coming down after you hit with a 1 is you're unstacking. You're getting these checkers into play. You start out with too many checkers here. So the alternative is uh, that you might roll a 6 and hit them. Well, again, if you roll this 6, now you have already unstacked this point sum, and you really don't need to unstack it some more. You have sixes and ones to cover without or to hit back. <clears throat> so as a general rule of thumb, if you're hitting with a six, the other checker gets played on the other side of the board. If you remember that, usually you're going to be in pretty good shape. If you're going to, first of all, you should hit this checker with anything you can, unless you could hit this checker, or with the one exception of rolling a three one where you would make the bar point. But if you're going to hit this checker with a 6, play the other checker over here. If you're going to hit this checker with the 1, bring the other one down. Thanks, and watch for your tips of the day or week or however often I feel like giving them. We'll try and do it as much more often. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.